So hi everyone, this is a tutorial I'm putting together to show you how to use um, the PDC website. This is a website that is frequently used. Uh, it keeps records on campaigns, campaign contributions and expenditures for campaigns throughout Washington State, political campaigns, for candidates, for PACs, for initiatives, for lobbyists, you name it. Um, you may not, if you're not familiar with the PDC website, PDC stands for Public Disclosure Commission, as you can see in front of you. Um, I've already loaded the page. www.pdc.wa.gov. You do have to put the entire thing in there. You do have to put in the www. So here we are. What is the PDC? Well, there's some info here on the PDC. The PDC comes from the 1972 initiative. It was I-276, um, the state of Washington requires reporting from all candidates and campaigns um, and all of that information since probably the past 10 years or so or thereabouts has been available on this website. Older records are of course available in person. So what can we do at the PDC website? Well, look for candidates and see where they're getting their money from. So this, there's a lot of menus here and you can go to search databases which what we're going to do is search the database um, and you can see there's a couple options here. We're going to just go to candidates. So you'll see that we start with, um, first of all, this says 2012. Now you might wonder, well, if we can only get records from 2012, how useful is that? Well, what's really going on here is that there are five different types of campaigns. You have statewide, which is uh, Olympia executive level positions. You have legislative, which is Olympia legislative positions, you know, the, the House and Senate in Olympia. Um, judicial, which is for everything from Supreme Court all the way down to Municipal Court. Local, which is everything at county or lower level, so that includes counties, cities, school districts, fire districts, parks districts, water sewer districts, etc., etc. And what's going on here with 2012 is that we only have these statewide elections once every four years, so it's only going to give you those options. Just for fun, I want to look up me. So I ran for office. I ran for city council of Federal Way in 2011. So we switched local, because that's a local race. And we're going to pick the year. Now you see that all the years are in this one, because can't, local elections can happen any year. And we have a lot, of a lot of details here. Now the first thing they usually do when you click on one of these is uh, they sort it by the locality here, and then they sort it by uh, how much uh, money. There's a couple of ways you can look for someone. Now in our case, what we're probably going to want to do is look for a specific person. You'll see this name, these, these, these headers these of the columns of the table. Um, they change color when you, when you hover over them. If you click them, it will sort the list. So you notice I clicked it, and now I'm getting everything done with A, 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 and so forth. And the easy way to do it, there's this little funnel right here on the same part of the header. Those are the filter. Each of these headers with the funnel has this filter. Uh, what you do here is you can say, okay, so what we're going to do is we want to start with a uh, partial name. The last name comes first. So we're going to put my last name as the starts with, and then we say filter. And I was the only title that ran for anything that year, so it makes it really easy. We want to know where the money's coming from. So that's why over here we have details. We're going to click on details, and we're going to get a bigger picture, a more detailed view of my campaign uh, finances. So we'll click details. And now you see you see a lot more information about, hey, look, I got money from all of these places. You'll notice that sometimes there's this information on the on the right side here, employer and occupation. Um, those may or may not be uh, present. The limit, I believe, is either $100 or $200. If you go, if you meet or go over that limit, the, the campaign has to keep track of who do you work for and, and what do you do for a living. Um, if you donate less than that, that cap, then it doesn't have to go there. The reason this is required is so that, you know, if, if a company is telling all of their employees to give money to some, you know, a candidate, you're going to see pretty quickly, you know, all of the people that are giving this guy money are from, uh, you know, Boeing. 
So you can see, you know, date, and you can sort by all of these, for example. By default, when you go to details of the candidate view, it sorts by biggest donation first, and then by last name. And you can also, so you can sort by all these, you can sort by dates, so and you can get a chronological view. So this PG is primary or general. And then, of course, you can sort by, you know, city and state. This is the, where the person lives. Employer. That's where it comes in handy to say, okay, well, you know, is there a trend when you can click on this and you can organize them all together and then you can say, okay, look at all of these. All the Boeing donations will be together, for example. The other thing that you can get if, from this is there's cash contributions like I gave you money, but there's also in-kind contributions. Then we can see, well, what did I spend? How am I spending my money? And the independent expenditures is when someone else is spending money for your campaign. Um, and so that's important. That might be useful to find out. So you've got cash contributions and in-kind contributions, and then did anyone else spend money on this candidate? So that's the first part of it. Is you say, okay, let's go look at someone like. I want to look for uh, federal way campaigns. So I want to say federal. Contains here. So we have uh, Jim Farrell and Linda Kochmar and Michael Park and and, and Skip Malon Priest. Um, well, okay. Well, where did he get his money from, Mr. Malon Priest? Well, he got sixteen hundred dollars from Walmart stores. And so did Primera. So did Realtors. So did Puget Sound Energy. So did Vulcan. So did all these people. So you can see where the money is coming from, and that can give you an idea of okay, okay, who is this guy beholden to? So now we know how to go and go in and find a candidate and look at where they're getting the money from. So that's part of the equation, but what I find is also useful is where does the candidate give their money to? And one way to do that is you can go into here in this advanced section. And um, what you want to do is you want to say contributor name. So for example, where does Keith Tyler give his send hit give his money to. I wonder if I'm even in this system. This covers all years. Oh look, um, I gave money to my own campaign. I gave money to Carol Gregory's campaign. I gave kind of kind of the King County. So this is the way that you can kind of flip it on its head and say, where did the so and so spend their money? It's basically looking here. Oh, okay, Tyler Keith is gave. It's gave money, so it's nice because you can cross-reference backwards and say, I can look at it from the camp, from the from the campaign that got the money, or I can look at it from the person or group that gave the money. So, for example, I could even look into let's see if this works. It might not work. Oh, see now, it, 2011, seven hundred dollars to Roger Flygear. Uh, 2012, uh, $400 to Roger Flagger, and so forth and so on, and, and uh, of course, the part of the problem is that they're not they're the same name will always come up the same way because it depends. It's the campaign that's putting this information in the system, and if so they don't put the name in the same way as other people have, it's a little bit trickier. So we might have to go back and change it and say, well, instead of all of that, we might just say um, 30th dist dem and maybe that will work a little bit better, so we'll do it that way, and then we'll get a difference. So it's a little tricky when you're talking about a group, but usually when it's a name, last name goes first, and you can figure out the rest. You can see that, okay, they gave money to these people, and so forth and so on, and, and this one seems a little bit more thorough, and um, maybe we'll even see, oh, look, Tyler, that's, hey, we saw that one earlier, Tyler Keith D for that very generous donation. So all these other people that have received money over the years from the camp. And you can also, you know, we can sort, like I said, it goes back at least 10 years, so it's like it goes about 14 years, and oh, look who we gave money to back in 2002, and certainly many more years after that, so, well, maybe we should uh, send them a bill. So, that, I think, is something that I don't think is obvious, and I think it's very useful. So, that's how you do it. That's how you get the info. I want people to be able to go to the PDC, look up a candidate, and like I said, it's it's there's just you know, it's worthwhile information in here, both on the candidate side and on the advanced side, going backwards. So there we have it. Hopefully that explains it, and I didn't run on too long. And hopefully you can use this and use it in good health and good politics in the future. All right, take it easy.